Today, we're going to talk about a day in the life of an embryologist. I'm John Stevens, the IVF Laboratory Director for Melbourne IVF. Welcome to Fertile Minds. Having been an embryologist for close to 30 years now, I think an embryologist is a very unique individual. From the time we arrive in the morning until we go home at night, and even after we're home, we're thinking about eggs, embryo sperm. What did we do today that is going to make a cycle successful? Did we do everything that we could to ensure that these eggs were in an environment that was ideal? Did we control every one of the 10,000 variables that we need to recreate in the laboratory what happens naturally inside a woman's body? The average day in the life of an embryologist is part embryology procedures, part quality control, part monitoring of equipment and statistics, and then, of course, part uh, communicating with patients to let them know what we're seeing in the laboratory. Did their cycle go according to plan? How many embryos developed? How many were able to be frozen? Uh, what's the quality of the embryos for transfer? Throughout a patient's IVF cycle, there's several points at which the uh, embryologist will communicate with the patient. Typically, we want to update them the day after OPU to let them know how many of the eggs fertilize normally. Uh, then again, we'll update them at transfer time if they're having a fresh transfer to let them know how many of the embryos developed into usable blastocysts for transfer. And then again, we'll update them uh, once the cycle is complete uh, to let them know how many embryos were frozen for future cycles. These conversations with the, the patient are um, key in the, the day in a life of an embryologist. Uh, these are the points where letting the patient know what we're seeing. And I believe that patients appreciate that. Communicating with the patients is uh, my favorite part. Uh, that's where it all becomes real, where we can relate what we do in the laboratory to uh, this woman, this couple, and what their hope is to get out of this cycle of a healthy baby. I imagine people, uh, well, I know I have a uh, image of laboratory scientists, and it's usually kind of a nerdy, introverted geek. Um, but embryologists, I, I believe a good embryologist, cares about what they do. They know that the work that they're doing is going to ultimately create a family. We are working throughout the day to make sure that these embryos are cared for through the quality control, the competencies, um, checking of equipment, and typically we go home thinking about it. As an embryologist, I've seen technologies come that have increased uh, success rates vastly. Thinking back to when uh, I first started in the early 90s, um, I don't think we would have dreamed of some of the things we're doing today. And that's what keeps it interesting. There's always new technology that will allow patients who aren't successful today, may allow them to be successful tomorrow. I can't think of a, a more rewarding career. And I know the team at Melbourne IVF feels the same way. Every single embryologist there is focused on what is going to maximize this egg's chance of fertilizing, and then maximize that embryo's chance of developing, and then maximize that embryo's chance of implanting, and ultimately making a baby. I hope you found this helpful. If you'd like to learn more about infertility, hit subscribe.